Shri Prabhupada said that this Krishna conscious movement would take the world over by culture. So what culture was he referring to? Not necessarily the Indian culture. He was actually referring to the culture of the spiritual world, specifically the culture of Goloka Vrindavan. Um, so here on our festival tour in Poland for the last 28 years, we've taken that instruction or that prophecy to heart and we're doing our best to present the culture of the spiritual world to the people of Poland. When you think of culture, what do you think of? You think of music, you think of dance, you think of theater, you think of philosophy, you think of good food, you think of nice association. So we have all those elements in Christian consciousness in a purely transcendental way. So for us, for us it's quite simple. We present this amazing extravaganza we call it the Festival of, of India, uh, along the Baltic Sea coast for uh, two months every day. For two months we come and do Harinam on the beaches and to the towns and then evenings we have our festival program. It lasts uh, almost six hours. We do Ramayan, we do Mahabharat, we give a talk on the Bhagavad Gita. We have various Indian dance performances. We have a magic show, we have a puppet show. And around the festival site there's about 20 tense depicting different aspects of India's spiritual culture. And we find this is a very uh, easy way for people to come in contact with Christian consciousness. Whereas a general mass of people may not be so inclined to go to a, a lecture hall and hear a, a talk on reincarnation or some other aspect of our philosophy or maybe not even buy a book or come to a temple. When they're on their summer vacation and they see a big event so exotic, so, so extravagant, so colorful, so blissful as this, their hearts being, heart strings are pulled and they, they come into the festival just to see what's, what's happening. And we make it a festival in such a way that there's something for everyone. We make it a family affair. Hare Krishna. There's something for the children, there's something for the teenagers, there's something for the mothers and fathers, for the, the grandparents. You walk around here, there's something for everyone to do. And what it does is just, it's their, you could say their first step uh, in, in, in Krishna consciousness. And the result is that, well, many people do buy books. Many people go to the questions and answers tent and begin asking questions of the spiritual nature. Our restaurants over flooded with people, the long lines are there. And um, just in general, they get a very good impression 
of Krishna consciousness and the culture that we're presenting, the culture of the, of the spiritual world. So we found this was a very nice formula for spreading Krishna consciousness amongst the, the masses. It, it in and itself is another form of Brihat Madanga. In the beginning, Prabhupada encouraged us in book distribution, Harinam Sankatan, festivals, so forth, and it's developed into Nam Hatha and Migarati Yatras and so forth, various ways which we can present the culture of Krishna consciousness. But this is really a concentrated form of nectar where people can come and invite this nice spiritual atmosphere, um, enjoy Krishna consciousness, because ultimately Krishna consciousness is a, a joyful process. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, this process is joyfully performed. Hare Krishna. take it to the people. We allow them to come here and enjoy. If you look around here in this video, you won't see many Hare Krishna devotees dressed like myself. They're behind the tables. They're up on the stage. They're fixing something in the back. Uh, whatever. We bring the people here and we let them experience. Rather than a normal festival like in a temple where, you know, in Radha Sami or John Mastami or whatever our, our major events in our temples, uh, we come and we have a we enjoy and relish each other's association doing different spiritual activities like chanting, dancing, and feasting. We have to share that experience with people. That's the essence of Christian consciousness. You need to experience that joy in order to ultimately give up material enjoyment, give up sense gratification, and embrace the process of Christian consciousness as it is. So when they come here, they get that experience. They get that spiritual experience, and they, they really do enjoy it. The result is they'll come back the second day, they'll come back the third day, they'll come back year after year. We've been doing this for 28 years, as I mentioned, and now we're, missing, we're, we're seeing people come back with their children. We're seeing people who came to the festival as children coming back again with their children. So this is real success. They come and they, they are the festival. The people are actually the festival. We're in the background facilitating their first steps in Christian consciousness through this cultural extravaganza, which we call Festival of Indy, but really it's a festival of Vrindavan, the spiritual world, where all walking is dancing, all talking is singing, and there's a Hare Krishna festival every day. It's all due to the mercy of Srila Prabhupada. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.